with Kamal. Today we are here with the new topic and our today's topic is drilling rig system. The rig system, what are the different kinds of systems on which the drill activities are done and all the operations are carried out. So welcome again. Today is the day 21. So let's start the session. So the rig has been categorized in six um, operation types. Okay. <clears throat> and all the rigs um, work according to these six main systems. And most of the equipments are used in, in under these systems. So let's see what are those systems and what are their functions. In this video, I have met the, the, the systems of the rig. And in the next videos, I will make the separate uh, sessions for uh, the power system, how the power system works, what are the equipments that comes come under the power system, and what is the hoisting, hoisting system, how it works, what are the equipments come on the hoisting system, how the hoisting system is done in the rig. So likewise, the rotary system, circulation system. Uh, the circulation system is the mud system. Okay, it means the mud, how the mud flows from one place to another place, what is the function of the mud, and what are the equipments come under the, uh, the mud system. So, well control system, how to control the kick and how to control the BOP. So um, the last but not the least, the monitoring system. So um, I will make uh, the separate videos on each topic like part one, part two, part three. And we are going to learn a lot of things. So I just advise you to see all my videos carefully. And, uh, and, and I hope you will learn something from my videos. So let's start the session. Uh, as I said, the rig has been categorized by six systems, okay? And all the rig, even that is onshore rig or that is offshore rig, <clears throat> all have one mission to drill, to, to, to get the desired depth and, uh, and uh, uh, achieve the um, uh, natural resource reserver either crude, uh, crude oil, okay, or natural gas. <clears throat> All kinds of rig uh, have similar, the maximum and the maximum similar equipments and um, uh, their operation also uh, similar to, to the great extent. So let's see. Uh, while there are different types of drilling rigs, it means it is telling it, that can be onshore rig or that can be um, offshore rig. If in onshore rig, there is only one kind of rig that is land rig. But in offshore rig, there are multiple kinds of rig that can be jackup rig, that can be drill ship, that can be semi submersible rig, that can be um, a barge rig. Okay. So, but all the rig work similar. Okay. Their equipments, their maximum equipments are same. The maximum um, operating procedure is same. Okay, so these rigs obviously share many similarities since does that they perform are identical. It means the same. In particular, all modern hydrocarbon rotary rigs contain six main systems, and these systems are following. So number one is power system, hoisting system, rotary system. Number four is circulation system. Number five is well control system. It means the blowout preventer system. Okay, use of the blowout uh, preventer. And six is monitoring system. This monitoring system has been um, brought in the practice uh, uh, before uh, eight or nine years ago, actually. Before that, this system was not in, in the practice. So monitoring system, we will see what are the things come under the monitoring system and what are their objective. Okay. So the number one, we have the power system. What exactly the power system? The power system is nothing but to provide the electrical energy to all the equipments to the rig to run the to run the operation. Okay. So let's see. 
the power system of a drilling rig provides the necessary energy to operate various components of the rig. It typically includes the diesel engine that powers that, that provides the power, electrical energy or electrical power to the draw works, okay, to the mud pumps and other equipment on the rig, or to the, uh, uh, we can say the TDS stop drive system also, okay, and to the rotary, uh, rotary table also. Sometimes the rotary table has its own uh, uh, electrical motor, but the most of the time, in most of the rig, the that rotary table is run by the diesel engine, okay, on the rig. Additionally, provide and the electrical power is also provided to the electric electricity uh, for the rig lighting because in in the rig there are multiple places there is light actually such as lighting in the day rig, the electrical lighting on the rig floor, the electrical lights are on the mud tank and the rig side accommodation quarters in the rooms where the rig crew leave leaves in that room the electrical energy is um, required to uh, for the um, for the air condition running for the light purpose okay and for the um, uh, geyser for the for the warm water so the electrical energy is given all to all the equipments and the rig so we need a power system in the at the rig site here we are seeing that we have the engine generator set in this picture we have three engine generator set and it's showing that the electrical energy is being provided but through the distribution system this is a distribution system this, this can be either vfd or scr and this electrical um, energy is given to the uh, mud pump to the tds it means the top drive system it is the draw work actually and um, this one is uh, the rotary table <clears throat> and here i want to tell you that the the draw work this one is the blue one the draw work and the mud pump this these two equipments are, uh, are, are actually consume the most electricity rather than other equipment in the rig so in this i want to make this video short in brief actually the the brief information about all the systems and the next videos i will make the separate on, on each topic and I will try to explain the much necessary informations on that. So now the first element is the power system is over now. So we are proceeding to the next, the hoisting system. <clears throat> the hoisting system is, the hoisting system on a drilling rig does the heavy lifting on the rig. Okay. Hoisting system is used to raise, lower and suspend the drill string, casing, and the tubing and and surface equipment into and out of the well bore okay so <clears throat> now the draw works is the main equipment of the hoisting operation and draw work is called the heart of the hoisting system okay the draw work consists the draw works consist of a large drum around which the drill line is reaped okay the system also includes a set of brake to control the speed and movement of the drill stream. Okay, so draw work is the main equipment of the hoisting system. Now we will see in our, our easy language what the hoisting system is. The hoisting system means to lifting, lowering, and and uh, keeping in suspended um, state to any any um, anything any tool. Uh, for example, the drill stream. It means the drill pipe, the combination, the drill pipe, and uh, the BHA bottom wheel assembly and drill bit, and uh, to the casing, tubing, and other surface equipment, to lifting and lowering into and out of the well bore is called the hoisting system in a ring. So we will see in details in the next videos. The rotary system. The rotary system is the rotary system is an essential part of the drilling. Uh, system is it is responsible for rotating the drill bit drill pipe and drill bit enabling the cutting action uh, that creates the well bore the rotary system includes the components such as okay the rotary system uh, contains the system uh, uh, the um, uh, either that that uh, uh, Kelly 
okay the kelly and uh, the rotary table and master bushing and uh, kelly bushing okay and uh, uh, drill string and uh, drill bit so these all come under the rotary components rotary system components so it means that the rotary system if if you see the rotary system it means the system and the essential equipments which we combine to to rotate the drill bits into the ground or into the water to make the uh, well actually the we will rotate the drill bit the system which will rotate the drill bit to make the well and it will going to deeper and deeper so this system will call the rotary system okay the circulation system if the circulation system is there it means it is telling about the mud system okay how the mud is uh, circulated uh, to the bottom of the well bore through the drill bit and there are nodules in the drill bit through which the drill drill mud is going out on the on the base of the well and how it um, comes back to the um, to to the surface so this all and what is the function of the drill mud and how why the drill mud is a, essential in the drilling operation okay so this all will uh, be covered in the circulation system so let's see the circulation system the circulation system on a rig is the system that allows the circulation of the drilling drilling mud or drilling fluid both are the same thing down uh, through the hollow drill string and up through the annular a space between the drill string and the well bore so it means the circulation system means how the drill mud is going down to the bottom of the well and 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 and, and it is coming back to the surface so this complete uh, process is called the circulation system what are the different parts different equipments uh, in the rig which are uh, helpful and essential to carry out the circulation system complete so and what are their functions and uh, what are the what are the objectives to use the drilling uh, mud in the uh, drilling operation? So this all will come in the circulation system. But in a short, um, in the in the brief actually circulation system, that how the drilling mud is going um, uh, to the bottom of the well through the drill string, and it is coming back through the annulus to the surface. This is uh, a, a circulation system. Okay, the well control system the well control system is the most important thing actually there are two um, um, uh, safety measures to control the uh, kick or blowout the first one is drill mud that is called the hydrostatic pressure okay and this the BOP comes in the second position okay the BOP is the second secondary control measure to uh, to manage a cope with the blowout and a kick okay so in this well control system actually the well control system or the blowout prevention system the BOP stands for the blowout preventer uh, on a drilling rig is a system that prevents the uncontrolled catastrophic release of high pressure fluids oil gas or the salt water from the surface formation so actually uh, how the the blowout preventer uh, works actually to control the blowout uh, <clears throat> When there is a kick, where there is a release of the oil, gas, and the salt water from the formation uh, to the surface. So how the 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 kick is uh, kick and blowout is controlled through the BOP. So in this uh, uh, part, it wants to say that the well control system or the blowout prevention system on a drilling rig is the system that prevents the okay that prevents the uncontrolled release of the formation fluid to the surface okay the last but not the least the monitoring system the monitoring system is it was it was not in the practice before 12 or 13 years actually it has been brought in the practice before nine um, or ten years ago actually so what is the monitoring system <clears throat> see all drilling rig has its monitoring system it has real-time sensors okay which gives the following information. Some are automated system and some are manual system. There are several, actually in the control console at the drilling uh, drillers console, actually there are many indicators, there are many sensors, there are gauges, there are meters, there are indicators, there are, main, there are alarms exist in the rig 
to provide all data, the real-time data are required to control safely, efficiently, and reliably all operations in the rig. Actually, what happens in the rig, there is a, a driller's console, there is a separate uh, control station on the rig floor, which is uh, controlled by the driller. The driller console have uh, a lot of uh, instrument, instrument uh, instruments are actually, instrument are there, uh, the sensors are there, the gauges are there, meters are there, which gives the real-time data about the, the many stuffs. For example, the rotary torque, okay, what is the torque of the rotation, okay, pump pressure about the, what is the pressure of the pump from, uh, from which pressure the pump is uh, um, uh, sending the drilling mud, so, and a pump rate, uh, fluid flow rate, flow return, rate of penetration, what is the rate of penetration, fluid properties, okay, pit level, well depths, weight and bit, hook load, and rotary speed. So, these all informations are given to uh, to the driller and uh, by these by these all real-time, the sensors, gauges, and indicators. So, <clears throat> according to this, all uh, current uh, and real-time data, it is very easy for the driller and the drilling supervisor to, to manage all the drilling performance and if anything, uh, any 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 problem may be arising then, uh, in the next uh, coming hours, so that can be solved, okay? Because they have real-time data, what we need to do to control the uh, the formation pressure and um, what should be the um, mud properties, okay? So this this is very important and helpful for um, controlling the drilling performance. And uh, but some are the automatic. Uh, automated and some are manual. For example, the the uh, fluid property, the fluid property is not an automatic system. It is a manual system, and the mud logger takes the the return mud from the shell shaker and then time to time and frequently and in he uh, analyze in the laboratory about the mud properties. Okay, so these are a uh, uh, brief information about all kinds of systems uh, in the rig. As I said you, the rig system has been categorized in six system. Okay, so these are the functions of each system. Thank you very much for your time. And I will, as I said earlier, I will make a separate video on each of the system. For example, the power system, the rotating system, the hoisting system, the circulation system, the BOP, uh, or, BOP um, uh, or the well control system or uh, the well monitoring system. So. I will make the, a separate video on each uh, system and I hope that we are going to uh, explore more in the field of the drilling. Okay, thank you very much for your time.